The following is a review for critical, analytical, and educational purposes only, and is protected under Article 17 and 107 in the United States Fair Use Code. This video is not an infringement on copyright. Please enjoy the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trilby, and today we will be taking a look at the debut trailer for the upcoming Curse of Chucky. And as usual, if you haven't seen the trailer yet, then be sure to click on this annotation or click on the link in the description below so you can watch the trailer before you watch the rest of this. And while you do that, I will enjoy this nice bar of soap. <sighs> ah, sea vegetable. Now, Curse of Chucky is the sixth movie in the Child's Play franchise to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the series. And this instalment is directed and written by Don Mancini, who created the Child's Play franchise and has written every single sequel to date. So the franchise seems like it's in really good hands. It's not been picked up by, um, by Platinum Dunes or another production company in order to just make a cash grab sequel. This is created by people who know the franchise inside and out. And returning to the series is Brad Dourif, who voices Chucky. And I think because he's been voicing Chucky for 25 years, that technically makes him the longest-running actor to play a horror antagonist. I mean, he's he's lasted longer than Robert England, who only voiced Freddy Krueger. I say only, who voiced Freddy, who played Freddy Krueger for about 19 years between Nightmare on Elm Street and Freddy vs. Jason. So that's a long time, although he is only doing the voice. And interestingly, Brad's daughter, Fiona, is actually the young daughter in the film. So I think that's pretty thats pretty cool how Brad's got his young daughter to play the main character in this horror film. But will she actually be a good actress? Well, this trailer looks pretty good for her, so maybe. This trailer doesn't really give much in the way of plot, other than the fact that Chucky shows up, this kid grows an attachment to Chucky, and then Chucky f***s shit up. And you know what? That might be enough. We saw the Child's Play franchise become a tongue-in-cheek horror film into full-on horror comedy. So maybe this whole back-to-basics approach is just what the franchise needed. To be honest, I think if there was any horror series that needed a reboot, as in a full ground-up reworking, it was Child's Play. But I'll accept this sequel slash reboot slash sort of sequel it's not really sh we're not really sure where this movie fits in we know that it's not a sequel to bride of chucky or seed of chucky so we know that tiffany and glenn or glenda isn't going to be in this movie so we know that it's not following up those so is this a sequel to child's play one or child's play two or three I don't really know, and I don't even know if the creators know. They're just saying this is back to basics Chucky, Chucky on his own, trying to settle some sort of personal vendetta. What that vendetta is, we don't know what it is in the trailer, but this trailer was actually really good. I watched this trailer last night at about half past 11 or midnight, and it was a little bit creepy. Um, I do have a bit of a phobia of, um, of like toys that come to life or puppets that move, because... They shouldn't be moving. They're, they're inanimate. They're not meant to do that. But the Child's Play series hasn't really been able to get that fear across, even in someone like me, because they made it apparent within the first few minutes of the very first movie that this wasn't just, like, something psychological. This man really had possessed this doll, and the doll really was killing people. So maybe they might go for that sort of angle where they where maybe it's psychological. They think that that um, the child is making all of this up, and that maybe the doll isn't real, which I doubt because Chucky has become such a famous icon that they have to have Chucky be a serial killer in a doll's body. But this trailer comes across as back to basics horror. It looks really good. It was produced for a budget of about eight million dollars, and it's going to be straight to DVD. So of course they do have limited resources. But the, but the Child's Play series will sort of benefit from a lower budget. Um, they'll have to go back to basics inside a house, a doll using household equipment to try and take down this family, and I think that's where Child's Play really does excel. I do have one concern, though, and that's a bit of CG that's been put on, on the doll's face. Um, maybe it's just unfinished CG, because this is a trailer, and they have until October to get this movie out. Or maybe when I'm watching the movie as a whole, instead of just random clips from a trailer, it will look better. Maybe my eyes will adjust to the style. But I, I, the CG doesn't really seem to blend that well, and it looks kind of off. It doesn't look creepy, it just looks 
off not in a good way but so maybe that's something that's maybe wrong with this trailer i won't be in the finished product but overall this looks like a really good basic horror movie that child's play is sort of needed at this point so yeah color me intrigued excited and a little bit creeped out while Curse of Chucky will be receiving its European premiere at the London Fright Fest Film Festival on August 12th, 2013, it will be released on home media on DVD and Blu-ray on October 8th, 2013. And I'll see you guys next time.